What's going on guys, DJ Av here, and I missed you. Crab Tendo. But anyways, we're gonna talk about five different ways to get reverse melodies in FL Studio, like Pierre Bourne or Trippy Red or whoever. You can do it. And shout out to Bass Gutter because I remember him doing a tutorial, which I did watch, where he did the reverse melody stuff. So yes, I would like to give props to him for doing that before I did this video. And let's move forward from there. All right, so now we're in FL Studio and I have a demo track that I'm gonna play real quick. So this way that you'll you know understand what's, what, how it sounds before it's reversed. So from here, uh, all we're gonna do is go to the master track, which is already by default. By pressing just F9 will get you to this mixer. And now we're just gonna press Shift E to pull up Edison. That'll be a quick way to pull up Edison. You know, check all the options. All the options should be the same when you do the Shift E thing. But uh, from here, you're gonna go ahead and just make sure that it says on play and all that so you can get the song jumps. And then from here, you're just gonna press play because both of these transports are linked to each other. That's what this means. So let's go ahead and play it in there. Uh, so from there, I'm just gonna go ahead and disarm recording then turn that off so it doesn't play in between like the sample or whatnot. So you're gonna press control and left click on that song jump so you can get rid of that extra space that you had. That's why it's important to do uh, on play for this. And then, you know, you have it right here. So from here, you're gonna pull up like a empty sampler, just select none. You can either replace or add, it doesn't matter which, which way you do that. Just pull up uh, the sampler, and from here, you're just gonna go ahead and pull in an Ezin. I mean, we'll pull it into the sampler from Ezin, and then you're going to press reverse. And that's pretty much it there. I'm gonna go ahead and mute the original line, and then I'm gonna put a step in so it will initiate that loop. So that's pretty cool that, that you can do it that way. For this next step here, what I'm gonna do is first, you know, make sure that it's not uh, muted or anything like that. And then we're going to assign the plugin or that particular line that plays. Had to remind myself there to, to mute the other one. Uh, but anyways, so you're gonna go ahead and play. You know, make sure that, you know, check and see if it is. Then we're gonna go to assign this to a track here. So it's on track three now. And then I'm gonna go ahead and select, and this right here means record. So I'm gonna select that. And then I'm going to press this recording, render to wave from that drop down menu. From here, I am going to press start or background rendering depends on what you want to do it's not going to take long from here then we're going to check the playlist here check the playlist because it has to be on playlist mode it has to have this in there if i didn't clarify and now you have that in here so i'm going to go ahead and go back mute and then we'll play it Okay, so it's not reverse, right? But yeah, this way, you know, you could just still do it, but it's already in the playlist. So that way you don't have to go and uh, drop the audio in that way. And you can further augmentate that. that. That's my way of doing it. This next way of doing it, it's actually pretty easy to do. Um, what I'm gonna do is just go and select uh, that particular track that has that audio. And I am going to select gross beat. 
And what gross beat is going to do is I am going to select reverse from here. So I don't really remember which uh, preset it is. I think it might be momentary uh, where you can just do a reverse. Yes, it is. So we're going to do a reverse that way. And you know how it has that little weird uh, mute part in the beginning. And what it's doing is it's recording the audio in. So that's another way to do it. But yeah, it's not as efficient as just like bouncing down your audio, but it's pretty, uh, it's just another different way to do that. Uh, another one, of course, I'm gonna use Effectrix for it. So I'm gonna replace gross beat for Effectrix because Effectrix actually has a reverse option as well. Doesn't sound as efficient. It seems a little uh, wavery, uh, but yeah, there's still another way to do like a reverse. All right. So last but not least, we have this right here, and this way of doing it is ShaperBox, and we're gonna pull up ShaperBox, and you know I got Time Shaper in here. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and delete that so you can see how ShaperBox looks. So you have to have Time Shaper, then press Add. Uh, from here you're gonna go and click on this area right here which gives you all your reverse effects so we're gonna hear how that sounds now we're gonna go Yeah, so I have some pretty impressive reverse presets there for you already. So yeah, anyways, so that's about it guys. I hope you enjoyed that. And that is five different ways to do reverse like Pierre Bourne or a trippy red type music beats, whatever. So just let me know if you want me to do one for Ableton because I definitely would do one. Uh, I don't know necessarily for any other DAWs, but you know, I'm pretty sure it's easy to do just like in here. Anyways, I'm DJ Av, and I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Stamp time. Later, guys. Trap Tendo.